pa na lang bago mag-aral. So, ngayon ang ama, anak, ang Espiritu Santo. Amen. Panginoong Jesus, Ikaw ang bukal na liwanag at karunungan ng lawa ng iyong liwanag ang aking isipan upang maunawaan ko ang aking mga aralin. Bigyan mo ako ng talas ng isip upang maisaulo ko ang mga dapat kong tandaan. Kalooban mo ako ng tiyaga at sipag upang patuloy ako magsikap sa aking pag-aaral pagkalaban mo. Ang aking pananais na makangit ang karunungan kinakailangan ko sa buhay na ito. Amen. Sa Ama, Anak, Espiritu Santo. DepEd Vision, we dream of Filipinos who passionately love their country and whose values and competencies enable them to realize their full potential and contribute meaningfully to building the nation. As a learner-centered public institution, the Department of Education continuously improves itself to better serve its nation. DepEd Vision, to protect and promote the right of every Filipino to quality, equitable, culture-based, and complete basic education where students learn in a child-friendly, gender-sensitive, safe, and motivating environment. Teachers facilitate learning and constantly nurture every learner. Administrators and staff, as stewards of the institution, ensure an enabling and supportive environment for effective learning to happen. Family, community, and other stakeholders are actively engaged and share responsibility for developing lifelong learners. Magandang buhay, grade 3. Today, we're going to answer our English 3 learning activity sheets or modules for the quarter 3, week 1, and week 2. 
So for this morning, you will have two lessons coming from week one, and then the other lesson is from week two. So your first lesson on week one will be homonyms, while your second lesson will be about homograph for week two. But before we start, may I remind you that you should have already washed your hands so that you'll be safe from any form of virus or infection and also find a place in your house where you can sit comfortably using a chair and also your table in order for you to answer properly the activities in our module. Make sure that you have a proper lighting or the lights are so good so you can read properly the written words and at the same time you have a good airflow so that you'll not feel hot while do, do, doing something about your activity. And then you have to also remember that you have to avoid noises around you so that you will not be distracted and you'll keep focus on doing your activities for this day. Okay, so I think we are all ready for doing our, uh, for learning in our English 3 lessons and doing your activities. Your things or materials should be beside you with your module, your eraser, your uh, pencil or ball pen. And then if you have a pencil, you have your sharpener with you, a ruler, a crayon, extra papers like bond paper and gray tree pad paper. In order for you to not stand or look for it anywhere and you will not be distracted. But still, you are in focus of doing your work. Okay? So I think we are all ready now to answer. Let us start doing your lesson number one in week one, which is about homonyms. Okay, kindly turn that page on your module where you can see that homonyms is the title of our lesson. We have to read the background information in order for us to understand our lesson today. Come on, let's read. There are words that have the same sound, but are spelled differently. They also have different meanings. These words are called homonyms. Examples of homonyms are eight, that sounds the same with number eight, by, that sounds the same with by, Fair, that sounds with fair. Flu, sounds with flu. Meat, sounds with meat. Sea, sounds with sea. Soul, sounds with soul. Two, sounds with two. And we have also die, and then sounds like die. And then pick. We have another one for that sounds like peak. And then we have tail. Then the second one is tail. Another one is deer. I mean deer. And then we have deer. Then great. We have great. Here. Here. Broke. I ah, sorry, sorry. It's break. And then break. And then waste, waste, steal, steal, wick, wick, bear, bear, sum, sum, pale, pale, stare, stare, were, where. Sale, sale. So for an example of this, just like number one, look at that picture. It is showing your eyes or the eyes. So we can say that we can use the word see, which is S-E-E, -E, 
That means you are seeing the one that you're looking. But if you will use the other C, that is F-E-A, we are talking about a beach or an ocean where you can, it's a body of water where you can um, enjoy and then take a bath. And of course, it goes deeper. It's a part of the ocean, actually, the sea. So we have two C in this example. The first one is S-E-E. -E, that means you can see. I can see with my two eyes. That is the example of C there. You can also you say, or you can also say, Oh, I see your crush. Mom, I see our food. It's delicious. Oh, I see the module. It's it has a lot of things to answer. Okay, so that's the meaning of C. And the other C is about a part of the ocean or a body of water. So you can say the sea is calm and peaceful. I'd like to go to the sea. Come on, let's go and swim in the sea. Oh, we have a very big red sea in the Mediterranean. So it's like that. Another example is eight and eight. The eight one is we're talking about after eating, while the other eight is about number, which is number eight. So let's use it in a sentence. Eight, Mona ate her breakfast this morning. Mona ate her breakfast this morning. So it means Mona is done eating. Because she ate her breakfast. The next one is 8. It's about the number. 8 is an even number. It's already 8 o'clock in the morning. So you can also use that as your sentence. So you see, homonyms are words having the same sound when you pronounce them, but... They have different meanings. So again, they have the same sound. Okay, sometimes there's the same in pronunciation. That's why it has the same sound. But they have different meaning. In Tagalog, ang mga homonyms ay magkaparehas na tunog. Ngunit, magkaiba ang kanilang Ibig sabihin. Okay? So now, let's go now to our activities. I hope that helped you and um, give you an idea of what is a homonym so that you can easily answer our next activity on your module. So can you please turn your page to the module that you, to the part of the module that you will see in our video lesson. Okay, so there you are. That's the activity one. On your answer sheet, please don't forget to write your name on your answer sheet. Write your name, your section that you belong. The date today of answering that. So don't forget to write your name. That's very important. Okay, look at number one in activity one. It says in the directions, Choose the correct words that matches the given picture. So you look at the picture and find the correct answer. You write it in our answer sheet. Okay, don't forget to write in the answer sheet. Do not write in module because that is not going to help us. It will just give us some problems. So write in the answer sheet. Now look at number one. What is that? That drawing? That is an image of what? Is it a sun or a sun? A sun or a sun? If you answer S-U-N, sun is correct. One, number one is S-U-N, sun. Next, number two. Look at that. That's a letter. But it's another name for letter. What is it? Is it male? Or male? Is it a male or male? 
If your answer in number two is the first one, M A I L, again, M A I L, that is correct. So number two is M A I L, meal. Next, number three. Oh, it's a five centavo coin that has, that is being pointed on that circle in, in the middle of it. So what is that? Is that a hole or a hole? A hole or a hole? Choose your answer. Okay, so number three, four, and five, you may choose your answer there from there. And then uh, you may pause the video for a while so that you can continue answering. And then play it again for the next activity on our module. Okay, there you have it. Thank you for answering activity 1. Now let's do and move on in doing activity 2. On activity 2, you have to write the word on the blank by choosing from the words in the parentheses. So in number 2, you're going to write again. Okay, again, I'm going to say write again your answer in our answer sheet. Like, for example, number one, may I have blank of your vegetable? Is it some or some? When you say some, it's only part. When you say another some, which is S-E-U-M, that means the total in addition or the equivalent of it. So what is the answer number one? Okay, correct. It's some, S-O-M-E. Number one is S-O-M-E, sum. Next, number two, the blank, the cat, sorry, the cat, blank of the mouse. What is the meaning of blank of the blank? Or what is the missing word? Is it stairs or stair? Stairs or stair? The correct answer is S-T-A-R-E-S, -E stairs. The cat stares at the mouse. Tinitigan yan. No, that's the meaning of stare. Tinitigan. Stares. S-T-A-R-E-S. -E oh, sorry. Yes, stares. Now, for number three, four, and five, you may pause the video. And you should answer number three, four, and five. And then you play it again after so that you can go and move on to our next activity. Okay, you are done with activity 2. Now let's move on with activity 3 in our lesson 1, homonyms. In here, you're going to write simple sentence only using the words there with you in the module. Look at number activity 3 in the module. Now you look at it. It is the same with your answer sheet. All you have to do is to use the, sen the words in sentence even it's simply or it's this simple. So how is that? Example number one, rays. So you can say the rays of the sun is hot. Then that's all. You're done. Number one, the rays of the sun is hot. That's it. And then go to the next one, rays. My grandfather and grandmother, or you can just say my grandparents, Raise some pigs. Okay, raise some pigs. Like that, it depends. Okay, so it's up to you how you're going to answer raise and raise by using your own sentence. Do it also the same thing with number two and three so that you can uh, finish already our um, activity in this part of the module. Okay, so you may pause the video and then play it after doing that. Okay, so there you go. You're done with week one. Now let's move on with week two with our lesson homographs. So in the week one, we talked about homonyms. In here, we're going to talk about homographs. 
So what is the homograph all about? Let us read. Read 3. Let's read the background information. Homographs are words that are pronounced the same or spelled the same but have different meaning. So in short, homograph means they have the same spelling but they have different um, but it has one meaning, right? Look at example number one. Ruler. A is the ruler that you're using in school. And letter B is a ruler, which is a king. So now let's read letter A. Draw a straight line using a ruler. Okay. Okay, it was done. Next is, he is a ruler of our country. So that's letter B. He is the ruler of, the, of our country. So it means that the another word for ruler could be like a king. Okay? So a ruler can be used. And then the other one is like a king. <laughs> okay, so that's the meaning of two ruler. Okay, now next number two, we have nails. There. So you can just write the nails used. Or the, camp the carpenter used nails in fixing the cabinet. Okay, well then, um, another word for nails are the ones in your fingers. Okay, so you can use all of that words as long as they are the same. Okay, they just have a different meaning, but they have the same. Then it means it's it will be... Um, Another part of the lesson that you're going to learn or you're going to find out, okay? So that's the meaning of homographs. They have the same spelling but different meaning. Now let's move on to our next page or next part of our lesson so that um, we can already answer the activities in our lesson. Okay, there, so that's activity number one for week two. It says there, choose the letter of the picture that is being described in the sentence. So in number one, it says, a fly was buzzing against the window. Number one is, a fly was buzzing against the window. Which one is the correct answer? Letters only. Is it A or B? If you answer letter A, that's correct. A is correct. Number two, take a, take a right turn at the intersection. Take a right turn on the intersection. Okay, so which one is correct? Letter A or letter B? Okay, if your answer is letter A, okay, if your answer is letter A, that's correct. Another correct one. Okay, now let's move on to number 3, 4, and 5. There's number 3, 4, and 5. All you have to do now is answer by yourself. And then you may pause the video for a while so that you can write your answers. And then play it after so that we can move to uh, the next activity, which is activity number 2. Okay, so there you go. You're done with activity one. Now let's answer activity two. It says there, you just have to write in the blank and describe how the word is used in each sentence. So for example, number one, address. A, a place to residence or B, to speak directly. Her address is written on the envelope. So when you say address, so she has to speak Okay, that is written in the envelope. So, the answer here in number one is letter letter B. Okay, so an address is letter B, number one. To speak directly to the person that is concerned. Okay, so that's letter B for number one. Next, number two, match. Two is it A to connect or B a tool to make fire? Match the pictures with their correct names. Of course, you're not going to use 
a fire on this. So what's the answer? So it's matching the picture. It means they are correcting it. So I mean connecting it. Okay, so it's number two is letter A. Very good. Next, number three, bat. Is it a baseball equipment or a winged animal or an animal? What is this? A winged mammal or an animal? I'm sorry. What is number two? Match. If your answer in number two is to connect, letter A is correct. Match the pictures with their correct names. Okay, that means to connect. Now for numbers three, four, and five, you just have to answer by yourself. You may pause the video so that you may know what to do. After answering that, you play it again so that you'll see what's next. Okay, now let's go to number three, or activity number three in your answer sheet. It's just the same. They copy the words that you're going to answer. So it says there, uh, use the homographs in simple sentence. So you have to make your own sentence using your homographs. Okay, so for example, a ring and another ring, what can you write about it? So example, number one. I saw a wedding ring. And then the next one is, the alarm ring early. So it's up to you how you're going to use your words and uh, make a sentence out of it. Okay, you may pause the video for a while and then play it after doing it. Okay, grade 3, and I'm so happy and proud of you. You've done our week 1 and 2 in English, quarter 3 modules for this day. Now, uh, in order for us to make sure that all of that has an answer, please show them to your parents. Dear parents, kindly check if they have answered each activity correctly. And then you may um, already... Um, Give it back to your children and then they could keep it. So grade 3, if it was checked already, you may keep it uh, on your learning packets. Then don't forget to wash your hands after so that you may not have any of the viruses. Okay? So uh, that's that will be all grade 3. Congratulations and magandang buhay!